booktube it's missy and today i'm here to share with you guys a book review i have talked about this book a couple times already on this channel and that is hex by thomas old huvelt um i spoke about this book in my august book haul part two and also in my september tbr this book I received for free by socialbookco.com. This is a website that is kind of like Travelocity where you go through them to find the lowest price book or the cheapest book. And they have 10 retailers that you can choose from. Each book has different retailers with different prices um, for both the uh, America and for the UK. So if you are interested in this review, and the book, I will leave the link down below that will connect you directly to the website. And this book will pop up. There are four retailers at the moment, Amazon, um, A Books, and then two others that are a UK-based bookstore. Um, again, they I think the most expensive price for this book was like $10 and the cheapest was like $7.95 for the paperback edition. Um, so yeah, I'll leave that link down below and let's get into the book review. So this is a horror book, um, horror, mystery, suspense. Um, I would put it on par with Stephen King. It's a very fast paced um, read and it's very engaging. I started this book on the 31st of August and it took me about a week or so to finish the book but that's because you know I was kind of like distracted and doing other things but once I actually sat down and read the book it took me like three days. It was amazing. Um, this book takes place in New York in a town called Black Spring and there is one main character family. Normally uh, books have you know a main character. If you wanted to say Tyler Grant was the main character you could but it's actually his entire family. The Grant family. There is a father Steve, a mother Jocelyn and then there's Tyler and his brother Matt. Now um, the cool thing about this book it is very current. It talks about GoPros, it talks about YouTube, it talks about Twitter and um, Tyler Grant is a YouTuber um, he, you know, does little silly videos on YouTube, nothing serious, but what happens in Black Spring is way different than what happens outside in the real world. So, um, I already talked about the setting. Black Spring, New York, in our day. And, okay, so the town is haunted by a 300-year-old witch called Catherine Van Whaler or Weiler and if you were to leave the town you would have this horrific feeling of committing suicide and so basically all of the people that live in Black Spring are trapped there. If you are born there it's like an eternity you already know the history so you know what you can and cannot do and that you definitely can't leave Black Spring, but if you are an outsider coming into Black Spring, it's your choice to stay. There is a security system in town called Hex. That's why the book is called Hex. And their, um, their priority is to keep the town safe from the witch and also keep outsiders safe. So if they have an event, to bring in um, the outside um, clientele, then they will post like fake places around the witch if she is in a certain area. That way nobody gets any weird ideas. Um, the witch is so part of their society and their history that they've come they've grown accustomed to seeing her. They even have a Hex app where if Catherine shows up in your house, you are to type it in into the app and say, hey, Catherine's here, just so people know where she is at all times. Um, she does stick to a route that she's always taken um, for the last 300 years, but she will pop up occasionally. 
um, throughout town. And again, for you know everyone's safety, um, they are to report her whereabouts to keep people from interacting with her. There is an emergency decree that has been in Black Spring in their history for the last 300 years. You are not allowed to speak to Catherine. You are not allowed to interact with her by touching her with objects or your person. And if you get too close, um, it might be fatal. At one point in history, um, someone did get too close and they died. And so it's like this huge mystery on why the witch is in town and what will happen if she seeks revenge on the people that live there. Now let's get into the witch itself. Catherine um, was a normal person in the 1700s. She came over from the Netherlands and um, made a home in Black Spring, or back then it was called Beek, I think the town was. So it's a Dutch community. And one day her son dies from smallpox. Um, people say they saw her bury the son, but then a few days later the son is walking around town and everybody believes that Catherine resurrected her son and so they have now, you know, claimed that she is a witch. And so, you know, that at that point in time, everybody is in hysterics about the witch. And it was an old superstition back in the Netherlands and it's a now superstition in America. And so instead of burning her at the stake like other people have done in the past, they have made her herself commit suicide. And so the story goes, you know, if you hear her whispering to you, then you yourself will commit suicide. So everybody is on um, watch and fearful for their lives while being in this town. Um, the whole premise was absolutely engaging. I, I, I loved everything about it. That's why I asked Social Book Co. to send this book to me because I really wanted to review it and I gave this book five stars. Tyler Grant has a little thing where he is documenting the witch and he wants to get as much information about her as possible, hoping to then spread the word outside of Black Spring and then maybe he might get a little bit of freedom if the outside knows about her and can like get rid of her, then he won't be stuck there. And Tyler's 17 and he has a girlfriend outside of Black Spring and he wants to go to college and when you live in the town you are not allowed to leave. It's impossible and all Tyler wants to do is live his life and so he creates this club online called OYE or Open Your Eyes and a few of the members are people from his town, other kids in his school. But this experiments and um, documentation on Catherine goes a little off kilter and bad things start happening and that's when the book just takes off and like freaked me out. I was at the edge of my seat. I was, my heart was pounding. I was um, just really freaked out the whole time wondering what was going to happen next. And so yes, this this book was just absolutely amazing. Stephen King is my all-time favorite horror author. He blurbs the book. The Shining was the scariest book I've ever read. I would make this the second scariest book I have ever read. I'm seriously not kidding you guys. If you are into creepy and you want a scary book and you really like witches or um, that kind of mysterious paranormal um, kind of book, definitely check this one out. I wholeheartedly give it five stars. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Again, the link will be down below. If you are interested in this book, click on the link. It will send you to socialbookco.com and then you can choose which um, retailer you want to purchase the book from and the book will then be purchased and sent out to you from them. So socialbookco.com is just the middleman, the travelocity, if you will, of books. And I will also leave down 
um, their link for the book reviewer program if you're interested in getting books sent to you for free as well. And um, if you guys do click on the link, I do get a little commission from each book that you purchase. So that's always fun too. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.